to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Time has come, Jabes. The time has come. For. For. You. To. Come. Get a out sex change. Yeah. Yep. Get a sex change. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. time for, for me, me to be, be who I'm, I'm supposed, supposed to be. be. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that's a lady. <laughs> it's time for me to be a little lady. <laughs> and uh, this is fun. But we're going to have to switch this up now, okay? It's you and a little lady. No, I, we had a, a conversation about this, <laughs> you, you and I. You exactly like Bruce. Bruce? You could, like, I think you could look hot and, like, look the part. Maybe. I'd have if to get I helped you and stuff. Super, like, heroin but chic thing. But still sound. Yeah, have sound. the deep voice, yeah. Yep. Hey, you guys want to go look at shoes? Hey. Hey, ladies, y'all going to want to go look at shoes? Hey, Buzz. Yep. No, but we've, uh, we've talked about this on the show for a while now. Where you've, you've earned your keep. Oh. You've, you've earned your place. Oh. And we were talking about uh, possibly adding you to the logo or wow. possibly changing the name of the wow. show wow. to accommodate you. Sure. And we left it up to the, the listeners. Okay. Um, I'm scared. No. So I will say this. <coughs> we'll go through the names. Okay. Of what people have chosen. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thus far. But the majority, I think, went with you with, with what you said. Jesse Wiseman show, yeah. Yeah. The Jesse Wiseman Revolution. So I think we're going to change it to that. Okay. Um, no, the, the, the majority. Je- the Jesse Wiseman evolution. Evolution, yeah. Yep. Where it's just you mm-hmm. as a monkey growing into a lady. Yep. <laughs> Crow Magnon like. Yeah. Brow. Holding a cup of coffee mm-hmm. that is nondescript. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> like a nondescript to go coffee cup. <laughs> We, to put whatever <laughs> coffee I feel like having that day. We all do. We all do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to read some of the names out. Mm. And uh, please <laughs> forgive my voice today. It is a little rough. Uh, weather changed, and I, I'm a little Ooh. under the weather. Ooh. Um, Ooh, it's 60. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Still going to be nice. 80 today, but anyway. <laughs> Sad boy fall. I don't think it is, actually. Um, so we're going to read some of these <laughs> outs. No, it is. Is it really going to be 80 today? Mm-hmm. Fuck off. Started at 60, though. Okay. All right. Let's read some off. Let's find out what let's the people fire away. want and what the people <laughs> think. Hitachi Wan Chronicles. It's weird. Uh, the Jesse Wiseman Revolution is on there. Blammo. You're welcome. Done. You rake it. So you want us to be canceled. Okay. The show. Uh, writer and the wife, R and J today. Oh, huh. I like I like kind of like a morning type vibe, eh, right? Maybe. Um, <laughs> the unhackable maybe. killing machine. Sure, I like it. Dinosaur rodeo. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I like the these. intangible cool. nemesis. <laughs> Mortal gods clash. Uh, we're good at alcohol. <laughs> I like good at alcohol. Yeah. Carlos Bustamante. It's pretty funny, Carlos. Good, good at alcohol. Jesse and some ha- and some handsome homeless guy. Patterson family value. Ah, I like P- that. PFV. I uh, like that. Corner of crime and pop culture. They're long. They so people like a longer name, huh? Now, Look, this one's a long one, uh, but a lot of people wrote this in, actually. Okay. This is probably 15, 20 people all had this. Uh, Jesse and Ross look at the internet. Right. Um, Because they they said, look, you guys already have your own jingle. Jesse and Ross look at the the internet. internet. Jesse and Ross Ross look look at at the the internet. internet. They type some stuff and they (laughs) scroll down. 
Ninja Tubs Revolution. Big fan of that. <laughs> that Ninja Tubs episode I was just awesome. like Ninja Tubs mm -hmm. in general. Uh huh. Uh, Hot Girl Summer Nation. Tony Thiesing. Is that Tony? Tony? No. That was for you. Um, on the Rocks. That was actually. I like On the Rocks. We got about uh, ten of those On the Rocks. Um. Which was, was pretty funny. I like on the rocks, you guys. Uh, and then when we're, when we're ready to stop the show, we just divorce. Yeah, yeah. We just divorce and call it a day. So I liked on the rocks as well. Taken. Taken. It taken, yes. By, is it a couple? I didn't listen to it. Mm -hmm. It's probably a climbing show. I got super high and watched Free Solo. Don't do it. Probably. Anyway, go ahead. R RJ's House of Shambles. Um, <laughs> you guys, I love them. That kooky couple, the glass oh, ceiling no. with Jables and Ross. <laughs> uh, this one's pretty funny. Tim Tim Seek Seek uh, S I E C K. I've never. How about Ross seen says that. last names? Yeah, that could be the name of the show. Between two mics. You guys, that's a good one. That's good. That's a good uh, one. I don't want to feel like we're we're ripping off. Uh, I know. McCready and Creechmeyer. Obviously, that would be hilarious, but I don't know anyone who would search for. What about Stash and, uh, Stash and Gash? That, yes, that was pitched as well. Stash and Gash? Yep, and so was Gash and Gash. Attorneys well, at we law. can't be Gash and Gash, but Stash and Gash we could be. Yeah. Attorneys uh, at law. Zima, Claus, and no laws. Uh, th this one we got. That's Kaling, just all things Kaling that Katron. you drink. This was a lot of, uh, we got a lot of these. Uh, what? Deb and Dale show and the Deb and Dale Ooh, diaries we got. Oh, I like that. Um, I like that. But I will say this: the most overwhelming one on here. Oh, uh, here's a new one: Jesse and the Duke of Bruchness. I like that. That's really good, actually. Can uh, it that, be that is something Eric like serial? Serial pill. The Mason Boro, the Mason Borough Forest Revolution was pretty funny. Whoops. And uh, let's not no, do that. I, we, I tell you uh, what, we got a lot of of uh, mail that just said, uh, "If you hard could just, mail too, yeah, in the, hard mail. Well, in, in the mailbox, emails, messages, whatever you want to call it, you know, whatever you want to call it. We got it. a lot of mail. Yeah. Um, they said we should do a, a if I run for the Board of Education that I should do a weekly segment called The Fast Times uh, at, at New ha in Hanover County. Okay. Hi. And just uh, yeah. go through what happens on a, on a weekly basis at the right. school board. And they were like, that would be fucking hilarious. Um, it should be like an office Because it is. Show. If you haven't been Parks to one of those rec. meetings before, that's it, you see hilariousness. Um, it's Parks and Rec. Yeah. 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 Um, and it, it lends itself to a great fodder but the overwhelming one was hey man we've got you programmed in everywhere uh just add jesse to the logo so oh, okay so keep the name keep the name because it's it's everybody's got it programmed in everywhere and uh and just add jesse to the logo oh so okay. the examples that were used were like hey the adam carolla show has a girl i didn't know that gina mm -hmm. and Howard Stern's got, you know, Robin, obviously. So right. they were like, look, we keep telling everybody about your show. We don't want to have to change that. So I don't think you actually got those messages. No, I mean, they're right on the board. Oh, OK. So anybody can go and, f and read these. Mm -hmm. um, somebody was just pretty pissed and just write, don't do it, fucko. I haven't nice. heard fucko in a long time. And uh, sorry, I like that, though. Eh, I like a good fucko here and there. Right. Don't do it, fucko. Eesh. So, well, think about it. Um, got a few ranch nations as well. That could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But that's Dayton. I was trying to think when we did that show. That's an early. That's an OG uh, that's show. That's the 20s? Maybe, yeah. Early 20s or 40s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the blue cheese or, or ranch episode. Um, so we got, a, we got a bunch of those. You and I will chat about it, and then we'll decide. But uh, the good news is, the reason why we're even considering this, is we moved into new studios. Uh, we've had a few tech glitches. Sure. Um, we're, we're moving past that. And, Jabes, uh, we're here to stay. We're yeah. going to do this for a long time. So that's why we're, we're thinking into the future. Right. And, you know, when we started this show, 
we weren't sure what the format was going to be. Right. I uh, thought maybe Which it would just be normal. interviews, and then you would be the producer off the side looking things up. Glad it didn't go that route um, because, man, are you terrible at a computer. And <laughs> that's something you don't know about your spouse until you actually need something looked right. up. And right. you're like, oh. That's true. <laughs> shit yeah you can't just like if you ask somebody they're like yeah i could do it yeah but it's it's something that you find out how they are under pressure Uh uh-huh so if i was off camera i believe i could look stuff up no still no no no. it's just it's still a hard no you can do almost everything amazing in this life (laughs) you have more talents out of one human than i I've seen out of all of my friends easily uh, and then all of my family members as well. Thanks. Like you can do the most amount of different eclectic <laughs> shit on the planet that it's like, how? How? Like moms get pissed off at you because you always win the cooking competitions mm. in the neighborhood and mm. Christmas and all that other stuff. Uh, you learn to sound edit on mm. your own, which is a crazy hard skill mm-hmm. without going to school for it or no formal editing training whatsoever sure uh you've edited a lot of these sketches over the years mm-hmm. um fuck man i remember the what was the zima one zima and jollies you did that uh, you and if you're if you're subscribed to the youtube channel you, just, you see jesse roll her eyes at that those music videos are a bitch and you've done there's so many little edits there's them hundreds the kinds that you yeah hundreds of edits in those things and then you're constantly looking at pictures and other things for inserts and all that other stuff like you somehow taught yourself how to do that which is pretty amazing Mm -hmm. um you're a great mom oh thanks and uh that's tbd right yeah and you just keep getting hotter for some reason we could you need to wait till they get older to see if you're a good mom or not no, I think you know yeah, now. They'll let you know. I think you know now. As a teenager. I think you, well, no, I, I just think you meet other moms, you see the, the way other kids behave, and you're like, uh. Okay, I'll um, take it. And that's simply because I've, co- like, look, I like to coach all of our children's stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, I'm a soccer coach. I've done baseball, all that stuff. So, like, you meet kids outside of your own neighborhood, outside of your own environment, you know, where you're like, oh, all right, cool. Um, or some in. And you're like, well, eh, they could be doing that a little differently. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty amazing in all that stuff. So uh, now that the show has evolved into what it is and we're, you know, 425 episodes in, I said, hey, we should probably, you know, switch this up at this point. So, Ladies, solved. Solved it. Yeah. We're just equal. <clears throat> so 425 episodes. We'll, we'll chat about it. We'll chat about it. Um, it's probably... It's not set in stone yet, even that I'll no, get. No, no, no. On the logo, but we'll chat about it. You'll either be on the logo, or, uh, or, or or we'll change it, and uh, and we'll talk about it. Um, if you have, if you guys at home who were not part of this thread, because I mean, there was like three, two or three hundred comments on this thing. Um, feel free to send in yours. Uh, I Ranch Nation is pretty funny to me. So the, the people that I think it's funny uh, DM me is, that was pretty funny to me. Where. You know, ranch is just just that one sauce that you're just trying to turn something mediocre into a little bit of flavor in it. Um, and we just make everything a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Not that much better, but just a little, a bit, little better. bit. So, yeah, uh, go ahead and, and uh, hit us up on Facebook at Ross Patterson Revolution um, and, and let us know your thoughts. Uh, the one I, I let look, I like Jesse and Ross look at the Internet, obviously, but that's too long. That's like. My favorite. I don't. That won't fit on your car stereo. <laughs> I know. It'll and a name that sweet, you need it to fit on the car stereo, yeah. right? Because people take pictures of that. They take pictures of the TV and all that other stuff. So, and then a logo. Trying to read that on a square logo in your Goes vehicle, like or five yeah, times. Jesus Christ! You, it, you, we might as well put the the Declaration of Independence on the back of it, you know, and just keep reading over and over and over again. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So we'll see. Just know we have listened. And uh, as a couple, we we, will decide. We solved it, ladies. Yeah. All you have to do is stick around for three years. Three years. 425 episodes. 
have sex with your co-host. Yeah, obviously. Like you can't get ahead any other way. It's been proven. Yes. Um, Not the Matt Lauer way, obviously. Not the Matt Lauer way, but uh, in a correct. He tried to he tried to teach ladies this rule, and Oof. they weren't having it, huh? Uh, this one's bad though. Uh, so uh, this this dropped this morning. I don't know if you read it, but yeah. uh, Ronan Farrow, which look if he's writing something about you, it's never you good. You are. <laughs> it, it's it's called Catch and Kill. That's the name of his book. Catch and Kill. Catch and Kill, and. Is it all about Matt Lauer? I, I, to my it knowledge, it is. Um, anyways, he is accused of anal rape in this uh, book, which is really hardcore. Whoa. Yeah. So, uh, and the girl, I guess, came out and t- t- talked about it. Uh, she worked at the show and... She was at NBC, so um, this uh, his whole she book an now. Anchor? Now so now that I'm looking it up here because this is new and this just dropped. Uh, Ronan Farrow's new book recounts his investigation of Harvey Weinstein. Um, okay, the and hurdles his then employer NBC News put in his way, uh, which caused him to publish that story in the New Yorker instead. Uh, how Weinstein hired Black Cube an investigative firm that employs ex Mossad offers officers to stop him. Mm-hmm. Doesn't surprise but me. That's widely known. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me. Um, but the most explosive interview they're saying is, is uh, with Brooke Nevels, the former NBC news employee whose complaints uh, led to this, but uh, Jesus Christ. So Where she, is Lauer? So she got anally raped at the 2014 Sochi Olympics. That is, that is as hardcore as you can get. Right. So I don't know where don't he like is. Don't like hearing it. Um, but uh, I think usually this uh, it just popped up. Is he the one that's on an island? Spotted on an island, Lauer? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, it said, he, wait, he just released a statement right now. We're, I, we're in the middle of all this blamo, breaking blamo, news. Blamo, 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 blamo. Uh, He fired back saying in a lengthy response on Wednesday uh, that she seemed to know exactly what she wanted to do and that the extramarital affair was uh, the worst part of it was when he was married, but claims their relationship was entirely consensual. Well, look, he's divorced now. Homegirl wasn't having that. So she's out of there. So he can come out and say this and um, and be fine. By, you know, it's not he's not going to get divorced twice to the same person. So. Right. Uh, but man. Now that that, that is out. Uh, shit. So he's denying it. So it says it's a uh, category categorically false and uh, defies common sense. Did she go to anybody? I'm not sure, but he I, I guess he so he just dropped a fourteen hundred word piece. Um. And uh, he said that was the first of many sexual encounters over the next several months. So he said the relationship continued. I don't know. Uh, Look, I I don't know what to think. I don't either. Is he a total sleaze? Creepist? Yeah. Uh, But I'm sure, you know, look, this the the, the Chris Hardwick stitch was like that where, you know, the. the, I think her name was was Chloe Dykstra. Yeah, she was saying that was a relationship that he had right but that you know she went back months and months later and said i love you and all this other stuff and you know right if if they did carry out a relationship after this after that then what what do you you know what are you doing i guess but uh it doesn't really matter if she said it and he can write a fucking book about it um yeah i guess especially if you don't go to anybody after that authorities or anything like man i will especially with something like that that's like a really hardcore thing i will say this too if you get that interview for this book right and you're able to put that story in your kind of synopsis that goes out to the publishers before like 
that would drive a, a, a bidding war. Yeah. So, you know, it could be so, that, that could be a type of situation where, hey, man, if you tell me some shit, I'll give you a piece of this. Right. Whatever this advance is. Uh, I don't know what to think of this dude, Ronan Farrow, to be honest with you. Um, I don't either. I mean, he's broken some pretty hardcore stories. He so has. He's been wrong uh, on a bunch of them as well. So, Which ones? Um, some of the more, like, this is why he's disappeared, essentially, for like the last year or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, he broke some other Me Too stories that were just false and mm-hmm. incorrect. Okay. And uh, the people shot them down. Uh, there was other people that he interviewed that said, you know, we felt like he was trying to force some type of confession out of us about other people. And it just didn't feel like oh, okay. a stock standard interview where you want to know the facts. Rather, you're trying to get to someone or something by yeah. saying certain words. And I don't know. I don't know what his whole deal is. I know he was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. Mm. And... um it's Woody Allen's kids, so what are you gonna do? Yeesh. It's a hard one to grow up in. If anyone knows about that's a hard sexual one misconduct. To grow up in. Yeah. He would know. I know. Uh weird story though to start off the day. Didn't break anything about his write anything about his dad. Yeah, why not? I, like write a book on that. I'm sure that would have told right? the whole story about everything that's going on in that world. Right? Hey, what's it like marrying your stepdaughter? Yeah, just an interview. How's that? How's that going? Just a quick little piece. Yeah, my my stepsister. How was that? Uh, was that? How does that happen? Yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So maybe a book on that before this one, I guess. But well, uh, you know, look, Matt Lauer's again, creepist. Did a lot of pretty bad things. Um, so. I don't feel bad for him in any way. Yeah. Yeah. I, so some girl didn't like it. Like, that's what you're going to have to deal with, you creep. Like, sorry. Yeah. That's just how that goes. He's not, he's not Aziz Ansari. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fucking Matt Lauer, like a serial creepist. He's got a kajillion dollars. I wonder if he's still on that island. I'd just stay there. Like, what is it? I mean, I heard he was on the Upper East Side. I guess. I yeah, like the last one I heard. Don't, but you don't get to. You just don't get to be in New York anymore, right? I don't know. Uh, who knows what what the fuck's gonna happen there? Strange, man. Uh, yeah. What What do you do after that? What was he doing already? I mean, he was already done. I mean, done. Yeah. Unhirable. No need to hire him. He's super rich. Divorced. Fine, go be a fucking creepist on some island or wherever, somewhere yeah. else. Like, just go be a creep. Yeah. God, when you're that famous, though, it's like, how do you hide? Mm. How do you fucking hide? Mm. It's a shame. It was like the Takashi. It's a shame he can't do this <laughs> same stuff. The the Takashi Six Nine story that mm-hmm. I was ta- we were talking about, where you know you got a million face tattoos and you're trying to go into witness, witness protection. Now he's saying he doesn't want to. Now he's saying, "Hey man, I'm all I snitched. I got I you got everything you wanted. I want out, and uh, just give me twenty four hour security because I want to resume my career." No, there's no way he'll stay alive. No, right? Yeah, or go ahead. I mean, he that dude go literally ahead. snitched on everyone on the planet. I don't think he makes it six months once yeah. he gets out. I don't think he should get the security if he can afford it. He should pay for it. The thing with the wit- <coughs> witness protection is the government pays. Right. So if he doesn't want it, then he, he can come out of his pocket. He we'll can find do out. whatever he wants to do. We'll find out. He's saying there's millions on the table there, and uh, he wants to get back to it. And he says the rap community will forgive him for snitching on everyone, which is not going to happen in that sitch. But, uh, yeah, Wild. Wild. You know, they give people with face tattoos the they can get money from the government because it's a sign of mental uh, instability and you can't work, right? Right. So he's not all there good, but... No. No. 
<clears throat> no, he he definitely isn't. Um, but yeah, look, California's not all there good either. This fucking story is crazy to me. What? The the mass blackouts. Now I heard a rumor about this, and I was like, "There's no way that's true. There's no way they're going to do this." And they they started it last night. Um, they are shutting down power for over eight hundred thousand residents for five days. So you're going to be out with, without power for five days. Okay. Um, because of uh, winds bringing critical fire danger, and they're worried about, I guess, the power lines hitting them. But so it's Pacific they Gas still and Electric. Have power was that was that going yours? Through them, huh? Was that yours up in Ohio? What? Uh, PG and E, Pacific Gas and Electric. I think that's North, but uh, sounds right. Yeah. Uh, it looks. Yeah, it is. You're right. Northern California. So the first cutoffs which began shortly after midnight last night, hit 513,000 customers. Where was it? Just north. It just Several says- counties around uh, Sacramento, uh-huh. Placer, Yuba. Uh-huh. Um, the blackouts will ultimately impact 34 counties in central and northern California. For five days? It will be the biggest power shutdown so far as utilities across the state attempt to reduce wildfire risk due to heavy wind. Um, I guess this is what caused the campfire last year in Paradise, California. Electrical? Mm Mm-hmm. And that's why they're doing it. I thought it was a campfire. That's what I thought. Um, But I guess it it says a utility malfunction was, that was actually what the the cause of it was that was tied tied to the destructive fires and, and all those wine country blazes in 2017 Mm -hmm. so now they're just shutting down the grids for five to seven days and i don't know what you do here it looks like every flashlight battery all the stores are empty the other thing that i i thought about was electric cars how are you charging your car your phone how you going to work well, you wouldn't. Then, I know. I guess. Schools. There'd be and no work to go to. They're, they're, they've shut down a couple colleges already, and, and schools mm-hmm. for kids are shut down because we have to turn off the power in our state to prevent wildfires, which are caused by our own power lines. Right. Wow. I, so, a lot of people, because I woke up to this, right? And people were walking around and they were like, man, I think after about a day or two of this, this is going to turn into the purge. People are going to go bug fuck. Yeah, because... You remember in New York when, when the power went out, you know, they always talk about it in the 70s where they were like, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. It was a day and a half of in the middle of the summer, but it was hot and all the um, babies, people were fucking and, you know, babies skyrocketed, like births and all that shit. Babies skyrocketed. They did. Um, cause everybody was just getting drunk fucking and they had nothing to do cause the power was out. This is five to seven days. I mean, that is fucking crazy. So they said that they could cut it off in, in eight more counties because of the, the possibly strong Santa Ana winds. Well, it would have to be in Malibu, right? Edison's and... outage will probably, yes, affect customers in Los Angeles, San uh-huh. Bernardino and Riverside. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, also under consideration, yours, Ventura County, mm-hmm. parts of Kern, Tulare, whatever the fuck that is, it's Inyo like and Baker's Mono Field. counties. Mm-hmm. Wow. You can shut Bakersfield down for weeks. I feel uh, like. Yeah, Bakersfield would be fine. You got <laughs> enough meth to live forever there. Stay alive. <laughs> uh, but this, so here's the grand debate over this, and I, I get it, is what's more dangerous? The risk of a wildfire or the crime that will occur because you're going to be without power for five to seven days. The risk of a wildfire in California right now, yeah. I would say it's, it's other. We'll find out in the next 48 hours. I'd lose my mind. Have you been without power well, for a very just, long time? Um, for a very long time? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, the last hurricane. Like, dude, I, I let's see, because I was here. I think it was 36 hours for me. And, you know, you start to see shit melt 
your freezer, mm-hmm. water on the floor. Uh, you're worried about food. Um, I think most people leave. We had a don't baby. They? We had a, a child. Yeah, but I, it wasn't that strong of a, the first one wasn't that strong of a hurricane. So it was like, eh. Uh, I'm saying for these people. And then the second one, we had a baby. We left. Uh, no, no, the first time. Uh, with Jax, it was just mm-hmm. me and Jax, and mm-hmm. uh, you were in you were at a wedding in Georgia, and we were mm-hmm. without power for like thirty six hours. Mm-hmm. There's a part of you once that day turns where you're just like, oh, okay, this is, we are not this is not yeah, a thing yeah, yeah. here. What do we do? Waffle House again. That was it. Yeah, yeah. that was the only thing that was open. Mm-hmm. It was Waffle House five to seven days of this? Like I said, you just go. I think people will lose their mind. Where are you gonna go? What do you mean? Where are you going to go? Where in, do you in go? In California, where, where are you going to go? Okay, so it's you could equate it to us having to evacuate for any type of hurricane. We don't get those in California. You don't get evacuated for stuff except for fires. Right. So if you're going to get evacuated for the fire anyway, they're giving you time and turning off the power and trying to prevent it. So you evacuate. You don't just sit there in your fucking house for five days without power. I don't know. Just like any other state gets evacuated for hurricanes, so will California, but it will be for no power. They could either deal with it or not. That's up to them. But they got warning. So, so they, barely. So some people said they didn't get, get notified until 3.30 p.m. And then at midnight, congratulations, you're out of power. Um, a lot of people are complaining. They were like, hey, man, that's just not enough time for me to get out. Right. It seems what everybody has done is just bought up all the supplies and, uh, and all that other stuff. But shit. You just it, go. If you it just gets evacuate. wild yeah. the next 48 hours, I don't blame anybody. If that happened in Los Angeles, and let's say it happened in downtown Los Angeles, forget it. All the cameras are out. Everything is out. Mm-hmm. Daddy be looking at gold chains. That's the first thing you go for. Gold chains. James. You finally get that gold chain. You gold can... chains. Mm. I just want two. I just want two around my neck, you know? Sure. Two gold chains. Yeah. Um, California's fine. I don't think it's going to be. It's fine. All right. They Basically, what I mean is they can shut the fuck up <laughs> and get out. I mean, get out. Evacuate. Every other fucking state has to evacuate for some natural disaster, and you're sitting there in 70-degree weather every day. You can get out. Do you know what I mean? Evacuate. Yeah, I don't know. Do like every other fucking state does. I think they're going to riot, man. Yeah, obviously, because it's just, you know. I just don't think that can happen today in in major cities, man. I I just don't think... You don't think what can happen? Something like this. Oh, I'm sure it's just in residential, the power out, right? No. So they were worried about, I guess, uh, BART um, up Mm. in San Francisco going out and whatever. Mm. And they were like, look, we have generators and all that stuff. So we'll have some public transportation. But uh, people are just shitting the streets in San Francisco. They can't even handle that. Yeah. I mean, it just won't be that much different. You have to go outside and sit in that shit. Literally. (laughs) Smell it. Let it in. Breathe. Breathe that city. Yeah. Man. I, so, all right. You're saying nothing's going to happen. I, I, say, I say give it two days. If this, if this really continues and they don't figure it out. I think people are going to get on the road and you could just go drive a couple hours. Stay somewhere else. In another state? No. You're saying that they're going county by county. San Fran to Los Angeles. Well, the problem is turning it back on. So then you got to turn it back on in all of these counties, and they say it's going to take a while. So you don't really know, and they don't have a definite answer here for you. They said mm-hmm. it, it could be five days. It could be seven, and that people should be prepared for that. How? I guess you go, you drive east as mm-hmm. far as you can. Mm-hmm. What if that little electric car, though, doesn't make it, Jabes? Then you're in uh, Yermo right. or Pahrumpf. Right. You're stuck in Pahrumpf. For days, I think, again, this is my prediction. This goes on for more than 48 hours. People start fucking smashing shit and getting some gold chains. Probably. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of want to see it go down. Yeah. I think the, in California, I think I just don't care. They haven't had yeah. a good riot in a while. Yeah. It has been a while. 
what was it 91? Rodney King Rats? What was the one after that? Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. There was one after that. Was it OJ Verdict? Uh, no. Uh, no. Not that one. Uh, another one. Something in Koreatown. I remember that. That yeah. dude came out with a fucking gun. Not sure what was it was, 99? but yeah. I forget. But they haven't, they haven't had a good riot in a while. The city's due for one at this point. Man, what a weird time. You would, you would figure with all the technology and all the shit we have. Again, technology's not there yet. I said it a million times on this show, and I'll say it again. Sure. Thomas Edison had simple electricity, you know? And now, now look, if he was alive the wasp today. Riots, yeah. if, if he was alive today, he would rip his wig off and burn it. Yeah. Because California can't get their shit together. So, uh, cell towers on generators uh, should run for a few days as long as it gets gas. Well, we'll see. That's what uh, Jamie's popped in and said. Okay. We'll see what happens there. Is that a, is that a priority? The cell towers? Yeah. When you're looking out for all this other stuff. Man, it, I'm, I'm saying it's the purge. It's going to be the California purge, Jabes. They don't have fucking water. What would you they say? Don't my, ha- I mean, it, what was my what's my chain length? Huh? What do you think? How long of a chain do I need? I mean, I, you go mid chest. Yeah. OK. What do we think? I do two. So like one closer to here right. and then a little bit longer. So what do you think? A 12 inch and a 14 inch mm-hmm. somewhere in there? Yeah. Uh, I've got big traps, yeah. so maybe a little maybe add two inches to that. If you're out there and shit really pops off, go get me two gold chains. It's what I need. It's what I need. It's what I need. And this is probably why Ghostbed doesn't have a store out there. You know, it's all online. Is they knew California's fucked. So therefore, they're like, hey, man, just go on the internet and buy our bed. That way you can't steal it from us. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get a mattress. 36 months, no interest, pay as you go program. I can tell you this with the electricity being out for that long, there's going to be a lot of fucking out there. A lot of fucking. Where? California. A lot of sex. A lot of raw, dirty sex. This is what happened in New York. Look it up. Every but like there was a baby boom nine months later, and they were like, I don't understand where are all these kids from. Power was out. People got bored. It's dark, and you're like, eh. What would they rather have happen? More fucking wildfires with no water and heat advisory? Man, I don't know. What do they want? I'd probably let it burn. If you um, don't have water, that's the only way that you can try to prevent it. I just They have nothing there anymore. They don't have water, electricity. I mean, you're missing. You're down to what? What do you have, a bike? You got your, uh, those little, little birds? That's pretty much it, right? I mean, after this, they will. I think those little hipsters will be ready for the apocalypse. They'll all be on solar power. Yeah. So they're like, go ahead, turn off <clears throat> the grid. Whew. We're all on solar power. We're all fucking. Yeah. You know what doesn't require solar power? A mattress from Ghostbed. Yeah. You don't need electricity oh, for shit. it. Yeah. You do for the you adjustable do. bases. You do. Yeah. So you're going to be yeah, lying down yeah, the whole time. Yeah. You don't put that base up to have sex anyway. So. No. You're good. You can, you can leave it down. Uh, by the way, there's a $7.99 special on that bundle package for the adjustable base. So. Ooh, what's that for Columb? Uh, no, it's for Halloween, dude. They're doing like crazy. Day. They're doing Halloween deals, probably because of the ghosts, you know. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say, who does a Halloween? Deal? Yeah, and then they're gonna do a, a massive uh, Black Friday deal. They said so. I'm fucking amped, man. If you're military or first responder, you get 15 percent off everything in the online store. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and live it up. Live it up, you fucks, because everything's gonna burn soon. Uh, next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Boom, boom, boom. Shovel anchors. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle coming right at your B hole. Coming right at your B hole. <laughs> Stop. Uh, what are you, think about uh, what you're saying before you say it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking real hard. I'm concentrating with all of my Right at your b-hole. Right at your b-hole. So you is can... the strike force going to your b-hole? Yes, and it's, they said it's more effective. 
Um, no, this is not just Everything's me. more effective. Hit, hit Sean Matson up for that answer and just say, hey, man, Ross said on Ross Patterson Revolution. Oh, that's, that's, no, I've already talked to him. If I put strike force in my B hole, it's going to be more effective. Well, he said that's why it's shaped the way it is and they keep ah, with that thing. Cause it's a it's nice little insert in there. Suppository um, size. Big fan of that. Big fan of it. Put it right up your B hole. Uh, four amazing flavors. Not that I think you're, he said you're... you need to soak a tampon in it. Okay, got it, got it, and then put and the tampon then, in. Yeah, okay. and then you'll be pinging all day. And again, that's from Strike Force. We didn't. We're not saying it. They told us to say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Told us to say it. So fine. They wanted us to, because you know how they do on their Instagram. Which you guys, if you follow Strike Force on their Instagram, they'll have different recipes. Every day for, for different and, yeah. like flavors of LaCroix or White Claw yep. or whatever concoctions that they put together. The la- the one that they're going to do is how to dip the tampon and um, ah, put it in your beehole. Just hole. Go, go rectally. Again, not me. Yeah, them. other people. Yeah, it'd give you probably more. It lasts longer than five-hour energy. That might give you nine-hour energy if you did it at that point. It'll be as long as you. it's in there, yeah. There's four different flavors if you're taking it orally, but uh, rectally probably not going to matter what flavor that is so you just do whatever you want use the one you don't really use that much yeah. like in your multi-pack or yeah. something yeah do that go to strikeforceenergy.com <laughs> type in the promo code revolution for 20 percent off they ship everywhere in the entire world and and jabes uh they do it with pride you liked it that yeah nice? i thought it was going to be something else but yeah they ship with pride good so that's uh, that's things that, that Strike Force Energy does. Last but not least, we got straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right? Like yeah. Yes. Ah, that is wet. You got a little you got a little juice on that mic after that one. Yeah, I better wipe that off. Straightrazors.com has everything you need to be a real man in this life. Uh, mustache waxes, beard oils, conditioners, straight razors. If you're afraid of using a safety razor, use a motherfucking safety razor. Mm. If you're afraid of using a straight razor. Use a safety use razor. Use a safety razor, yep. yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, pretty standard. Pretty standard. People know that, right? I People think. know that. The main thing with this is the smell. Yes. The aftershave smolder is the greatest in the biz. And isn't like all of their stuff, so the shampoo, conditioner will all have this smolder smell. So you'll have a signature oh, yeah. scent, guys. And yeah. that is something that happens um, when you mature. Correct. And you, you, you phase out of stinky bro yeah. into a gentleman. When you mature. Part of that you do is it. a signature scent. Yeah. Look into it. Um, before we dive into uh, everything else today, this is a story that I'm sure we're going to get sent 100 times, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Okay. Uh, there was a Florida man that, that poured beer into an all- alligator's mouth mm-hmm. and then kept encouraging it to bite him. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw that. So I uh, just want to let that out into the world that we know that one is probably going to come down a million times. Yeah, and, I got uh, it. I'm not, I am not surprised at that whatsoever, obviously. No, that sounds like a normal Monday. Yes. Monday. Yeah. No, in normal Florida. Monday. So, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, a lot of pressure, though, man. A lot of pressure today. I, f- I feel it in my shoulders. I feel it in my blades, you know? My traps, my bear traps. I feel it in. For what? We're going to New York next week. Uh huh. Your team, the Yankees. Mm hmm. Uh, they did their part. They did anyway. their part. They're in. Of course they did. But now, for Jabraham Lincoln to see them in person, because we, we got tickets for game two. What happens if they don't Home play? game two. Um, well, then the days move up, and you're not going to be there. So you have to sell them. Sell them. Give them away. Well. Um, so, uh, but the, the problem is this. We have a lot of listeners. You're boys. Bronx yeah. Blue, right? Mm-hmm. The Bronx Blue. Um, I think they want to they see Ross and Jables, you know? Yeah, and I mean, I want to see them. Same. Their outings, their outings look fucking fun. We want to have them on the sports show, and they're hardcore Yankees fans. Yeah. They so, have. so where are their outings at, by the way? And shout them out because they just sent some T-shirts. Yeah. So, Brogs Blues just sent me the Savages T-shirts, mm-hmm. which um, 
Sorry, I'm not wearing them, but anyway. Well, you're going to wear them to the game. That's why. I'm going to wear them to the game. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, what about them? They're at, their outings are at the stadium, so I don't know if... Do they, is it tailgating? Because like, I've been to that stadium kind before. Kind of, but it's a bar by there. So they'll. it's it's basically like a, a meetup group, okay. right? So they will... Do they know the bar owners? Um, it's not like they rent out the whole bar. It's well, no, just re- like reason if, being it's is. just like a drinking bros meetup, right? So you go, hey, Bronx Blues, we're here. We're going to be here before the game. Everyone that's going, come. You know, well, they they put their outings um in the schedule. Here's why. I, here's why I, I asked, right, Jabes. Is right. The mics are directional. I've recorded everywhere. Strip clubs. Oh no, it would be fine if we recorded. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. maybe we could, if they if they're friends with the owner, we could just record there and then go to the game. Uh, but the Astros have to do their part. That's the thing. So I almost sent them a message of like, "Hey guys, can we jump on a call?" Blah blah blah. But then I'm like, "Wait, yeah, I have to wait." I know. Still, I know. Astros were favored to win the World Series in Vegas. Um, Something just happened last night. I don't know. On my they... bookie, they were up two zero in the series. It's first to three. All they had to do is win one more game. I know. Against the shittiest, te- they're playing the shittiest team there it was is. Like all replacement. It was players. all, uh, yeah, relief pitchers who played last night in a row. They started the game with a relief pitcher who only goes two innings. So you know what you're getting into when the game starts. Right. And they were going against Justin Verlander, but one of the greatest pitchers gr- of all time, a Hall of Famer. In their defense, it's hard to get into a groove when they keep, right? So how long know. did the first pitcher go for? Two innings. Two innings. So... The reason we're talking about this is I don't want to see the Jabe's dreams crash. Not go. For this shitty, weird team that, like, dude, no one cares about the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Not even their fans. So I, I've been watching, obviously. You it know, hasn't been a good series, you guys, with a good fucking matchup in a long time. Uh, yes. The, the, that people fucking care about both teams. Sorry. Uh, ironically, the National League has been great. Um, yes. Braves and Cardinals tonight, 5 o'clock. This is game five, do or die. We lose, we're out. They've been keeping us on the edge of, their, of our seat. A seat. lot of pressure. Great games, Every, great oh, matchup. Great. Every single game has been one run, craziness. Overtime, over innings. Uh, extra extra innings. innings, yes. Uh, Dodgers, Washington, game five in L.A. Right after that tonight, like, holy shit. Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow is the Astros game five back in Houston. And if they lose, then you don't get to see them play. Be sad. I know. It would really be sad. So fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. But uh, man, I I was watching that game last night and I'm like, there's no way they're fucking losing this game. And the, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, their stadium was half empty for that game last night. You could have just walked up and bought tickets if you were a normal person right from the box office like you were a child in the 1930s. Oh, I'll take two. Or if you were going to a mid-season Dodger game. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, you could always just walk up. and Maybe. Before I mean, Magic Johnson bought them, yeah, 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 yeah. you could literally just walk up to any game and get tickets. Yeah. So, oh, I am... I, a lot of pressure here. I mean, first for my Bravos, obviously, because I would love a, a Yankees Braves World Series that would reunite the family together. Uh, we could laugh, we could cry, mm. we could scream at each other, and it'd be great. It would be so fun. We'd be a house divided. Yeah, just like the '90s. We Which played is the best every year. You guys beat us every year, but uh, <laughs> it was fun. God damn it, it was fun. And because you are a Braves fan, diehard, and. In the same way that I am an Ohio State fan through marriage, so are you yeah, Yankees. Exactly. So when we go to like, the Yankees game, I'm rooting for the Yankees. Yes. Right. But because of me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I liked him as a kid a little bit because of Ricky Henderson, but then he moved on and then, uh, you know, started liking the A's or whatever. You have your favorite players uh, in the league. But uh, yeah, it is because of you. And I want to see the Yankees win and dominate. And. That would be an awesome World Series. I'd be stoked about and that. And I think it would be a good show with the Bronx Blues only because, like, these are diehards. And I love to hear people's diehard Yankees stories, like how they came to be. Mm-hmm. A Yankees fan, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, are you, have you been coming to this stadium since you were a kid? It's usually your dad, right? We're all, yeah. trying to, we're all trying to connect with our dads, good or bad, yeah. when it comes to baseball, right? I, I, I will say this, not me. Um, my, Who's your dad watch? He was a diehard Cleveland Indians fan. 
And I, I just... I think just baseball in general, right? Yeah, of course. I think baseball in general, most of the time, maybe you would be the exception. But if you walk down the aisle of, let's say, any game in Yankee Stadium, let's say. Yeah. You walk down and you say, who'd your dad watch? Who'd your dad? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine times out of ten, they'd be like, fucking Yankees. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about, right? 100%. And whether you loved your dad or hated him, whatever, you yeah. think about him yeah. when you're walking into the stadium. Yeah. I think. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, would be, I will be very disappointed. Oof. So everybody root. It well, will be a sad day for the Jabes. But I mean, listen, by the time I'll find sh- something else to do in New York. Don't worry about me. Yeah. The, uh, but I'll be but by the time this, this airs. Yeah. Um, eight o'clock. So you'll know. You'll well, know the game my will fate. be going on the same time as this show <laughs> when this show airs tomorrow night. So uh, if you're watching the game, know the Jables has got some vested interest in this. Now, anytime you have me look something up, uh-huh. it usually sends me on this weird little off thing because you don't use the correct keywords right therefore because it's fun more fun this way so um and that's just the kind of like person that i am sure so you i was looking up riots <laughs> do you remember in 2001 the ohio state university uh first chitta fest block party riot it's listed in the famous riot so were you there it wasn't that famous um were you there it was not there because uh, I didn't, I was, I was way too young to be there at that that time. But uh, did you fucking graduate already? Yeah, I was gone. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I was gone. Um, I forget. I know, right? <laughs> so okay, sorry. So, I, asked, I asked about this because it was that was right afterwards, right after we left. Um, right, right after. I yeah, you graduated. Yeah. Yeah. So right after I graduated, that happened, and I asked uh, about how bad it was. <sighs> Here's the thing to remember about Ohio State, then. Probably not now because they've, you've been to that campus now. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's fucking, they've knocked everything down, all the shitty bars, all that other stuff. And re, no, I mean, for real, that, the shitty bars that I loved, you know, where you just get trashed in for like, okay, you know, Thirsty Thursdays yes. and all that other stuff. Yes, that I is all remember. gone. So now it's replaced with like nice bars and they have police everywhere and, and all that other shit, right? So this riot mm-hmm. that happened. Uh, those riots used to happen a lot after football games. Okay, so then there's another one, 2002, Ohio State, Michigan football game riot. I was there for that. You were there for that. I was that for, for yes. You came back. Yep. For that. Yes. So that was bad enough to be up here on the thing. Was it really? So I was. Yeah, Ohio State post (sighs) University of Michigan football game riot. Yeah. November. I was there and, uh. Uh, I lit something on fire. Okay, yeah, there is a picture of you here. So that's you? No, uh, probably. <laughs> probably. That's you. Nick. That was the With- thing, though, of like, hey, man, let's take all the, the couches out of our place, our beds. Did L- you show your butthole? Light everything. Because yeah. I know you like during, especially during riots or any time like this, you do like to show your butthole. I did, and that was before the, the time of uh, camera phones and shit. So... So I re- I remember exactly what I pulled your butthole out. No, I did something different. Um, people start fires in the middle of the street mm-hmm. with with couches or beds and things like that, right? Sure, shit gets crazy, mm-hmm. and then you're like, "How far can we take it?" Right? Yeah. So there's people who jump over the fire. You ever see that when they're like, "Hey, man, we've got everything built up in the street." And yeah, I mean, I've seen it. We're yeah. gonna jump over it, right? Yeah. Um, I think I just I pulled my dick out and got his and started smacking it against my abdomen like with obviously mm-hmm. dance moves not you know my own backhand or anything uh-huh. right next to the flames and like huge laughs oh okay huge huge laughs out of cool. that again no social media no camera phones mm-hmm. no nothing you had to be there kind of thing no proof yeah yeah um and then uh a friend of mine who i'm not going to say his name um does it i mean you you know him um he does this trick called the elevator with his testicles. Mm-hmm. He has a really long sack, right? And okay. huge balls. Like, okay. They're like pears, right? He can do this thing called the elevator where he can suck one up to the top of the, the base at a time and then the other one no, he over can't. and over again. Yeah, yes. And so he Why did. Why would it be called the elevator and not because it's, like. It's, it's, you know, those two elevators. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, one goes up I and just the elevator feel like goes down. different things. It elevator can be, up, yeah, yeah, elevator yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, 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 and, uh, he did that right next to the fire. 
enormous laughs. Like he he won the night with Gosh. that. That's a party trick that, man, that is hard to replicate. And yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You definitely need to be a certain type of uh, person. You do. You do. Because we went on to win the national championship that, that year. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. the fires and everything were worth it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also had, I forget what year it was, but um, one, during one of the riots, uh, we tipped over my buddy at a shitty car. Mm-hmm. This is just fucking K car, this piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And um, Oh, you told the story and then I he did, yeah. got a new one? Yeah. So no. we flipped it over, everybody burned it, and then uh, he was on the news crying that his car got burned, and uh, like the city bought him a new one. Wasn't one of the, the local d- car dealerships. Yeah, the yeah. D- dealership. I bought him a new one, and, and he got a brand new car out of it. It's hilarious. I uh, won't say his name, but I, I literally just chatted with him the other day on Facebook, and it made me laugh to no end. Whenever and this I, is different than Elevator Guy. Yes. Whenever I see his name, all I think of is him crying on the news in his car, turned upside down burning on fire it's so great such a great story but yes so that happened a lot you guys really know how to party that happens at bigger universities that really give a shit about sports um is the kentucky one on there the kentucky uh wildcats when they won the national championship was there riot on there uh what do you know about i want to say three or four years ago maybe four or five years ago four years ago yeah that was a great riot what was it? Why was it so great? <laughs> Here's what was great about it. So where, where the technology wasn't there when we were riding, mm-hmm. um, it was there for this. And there was some drinking bros who were like, hey, man, are you listening to this go down right now? And I was like, no, how how, how is that possible? And they're like, ah, oh, shit, man, there's an app for the scanner on the police scanner on campus. Turn it on. It's fucking hilarious. Um so you could just listen to the police reporting what was going on. Literally every 10 seconds was, uh, we got a fire on 4th and 83rd. Uh, we got another fire on 3rd. We got another fire. Uh, there is a male who is now completely nude in the middle of the intersection on 83rd. I mean, three hours That's of awesome. magic. I laughed for a thousand years. I was up writing that night and I just had that on in the background. I laughed forever at that. And uh, they just won the national championship. So at bigger schools, yeah, that's kind of the norm. Mm-hmm. But the, uh, when I'm talking about a good old... High f- Chad population. Well, Kyle's. Very Kyle's, because you want to break some shit. So. Kyle versus Chad. Yeah. Chad's turned into Kyle's for the night. Exactly. There you go. Perfect. Perfect uh, analogy for that. But I, when I'm talking about a good old-fashioned riot, where, where you're just pissed off about something, mm-hmm. where you're just like... Those were, those were happy riots where you're like, hey, man, let's just fucking, happy yeah, we're burning shit, but it's our own shit. And like, yeah, we're not, yeah, not going to call just, the cops. We're not right. going to bitch about it. Like, uh, you know, we burn. Right. You wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, fuck, I burned my bed. Yeah. Weird. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't do it to a ghost bed. I can tell you that. Yeah. Well. It's a shitty mattress. But, Obviously. Uh, or you're like, ah, I burned my couch and then everybody kind of chips in and pays for it. But these riots, I'm talking about where, where shit is like. Like Rodney King, mm-hmm. like where shit is fucked up, and you're mm-hmm. like, "Hey, man, I can't take this because of what's going on." Yeah, F- I mean, obviously Ferguson's up there. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a gu- by the way on Drinking Bros next week. We have a guy that was infamously there at the Ferguson riots mm-hmm. who's on the show next week, and uh, th- he's got some crazy stories about it. Yeah, um, but he was there for that whole thing, and he got paid to be there, and uh, he talks about the whole story, but. Uh, yeah, we're like it's where there's an element of danger, but also you might get a new TV out of the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we weren't stealing anything. It's lawless, and I mean, there's people that are doing it for the cause, and then uh-huh. there's other people that are like interloping and just stealing shit, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, watching that um uh, that that NWA doc mm-hmm. where they were like, man, that was the the. The Rodney King riots were the greatest thing of all time where everybody just left and went and grabbed TVs and shit. Right. A lot of people got hurt. I know. Yeah. But NWA was like, hey, man, we got TVs. Sure. Snoop Dogg and those guys were like, dude. They said Tupac was out on it. He was grabbing shit, like, you know, just to do it. Um, I, the I think purge... you get your voices heard, possibly, right? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, you do. Uh, look, there is a reason why that phrase is always at every riot or protest of any means necessary is if you're pissed off enough about something, you've got to use your voice and, you know, 
It will get heard. Mm -hmm. Depends on how hard you're willing to go. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, man. I don't know what you would do if this is the only electric company in town. What do you do against them? I mean, I'd probably start with their office first, to be honest with you. Right? Wouldn't that be your meetup place? But listen, they're not, they're doing it to keep you safe. The problem. Because of their own equipment. Because of the lack of water and f- the high fire risk, mm, right? I'd start there. They're doing it to keep you safe, right? I mean, is that the idea? Yeah. Look, so they didn't give them enough time is the only thing to fucking rage about. But if you're going to get pissed at somebody for trying to stave off some wildfire, fuck you. Yeah. And you can't get pissed when they can't get to your fucking house. There's I, no water. So what do you what do you, what do you propose? I, I'm not an organizer of events, but I would say you meet there at Ground Zero and then figure things out from there. Um, California, I propose, should what probably be its own country. Against though, should be its own country. Um, I think at this point, California should just be its own country. With all of these problems, they should separate off. And this has been talked about for a long time. And they've you know they've tried this bill, right? The what? Th- that California should be its own sovereign state. Yeah, I just don't think this is part of your like soapbox in this way. Not me. Look, I don't live there, so I don't give a shit. I know, but you're gonna go. You're gonna go into a thing of California needs to fall into the ocean, which is probably true. But I think this instance with the power outage. What do you? What is your other? How else are you gonna solve this problem? Why don't you have water? Of wildfires water? every year. Why don't you have water? Yeah. There you go. I cool. Why don't you have water? You so just you st- don't have water. Like- so here's the thing. You meet up at the electric department. You mm-hmm. meet up there, right? Organize your activities there. After whatever happens there, you go over to the water department. Try to knock on some doors and figure out what's in there. You know? Yeah. That's what, what I'm are you ch- Jesse, this is how riots work, baby. Yeah, dumb people this just is fucking getting showbiz. pissed for no reason. But that's how you have to start thinking of like, where does it start and why? You've got to start thinking like you're on these streets. You've been living in the suburbs. You've been out of these streets, Jabes. You're literally rioting against nature. I, like, you're literally rioting against climate change. Mm. Nature versus nurture. No. I, yeah, why do they build these power lines there? If, if, if it was, if Because that's where people fucking live. Wow. So if you want to live out there, guess what's going to have to happen when there's crazy Santa Anas and... This is, now, this is how rational people so think. So this is, that's how rational this people is think. what's going to happen. But I, I'm thinking about the irrational people here and what's going to go down, Jabes. A lot of people in California are rational. We'll see. I, look, my prediction is no. That what? This, I think it's going to fucking burn. You think there's going to be a riot? Yes. I think, I I think, I think there will be riots. If it, I don't. If it stretches to Los Angeles, because mm-hmm. um, it's in Sacramento too. Isn't Sacktown they super don't fucking need, crazy? It, it will be in Malibu. They don't need to t- um, turn off the power in down, like downtown Los Angeles or any metropolitan areas. Mm-hmm. They need to turn it off where there is, right? Power uh, lines that can start fires. So right. that's not going to happen in the city of Los Angeles. That's going to be in Malibu, any of the rural places along the coast. It depends on where the grids are at. Because um, usually it's by blocks and streets and all that shit. So we'll see. Uh, my, look, I'm, I'm leaning towards riot. Okay. Yeah. And the weird thing is, is like this, we're, we're taping this the night before, so I'm not even going to know if I'm, I'm right. Because I, I would say right around Friday night, like, right? What are you getting Today, pissed Today's about? Wednesday. I'm not pissed about anything. No, I mean, it's for them. It's like, what would they be oh, getting pissed look, about? Dude, it's anything these days. What are they pissed off about now? I mean, for real. They march for nonsense every goddamn day, and they'll, they'll go to the beaches and protest or the, the offices or run around in the streets with little signs and stuff, and we don't like whatever Trump's doing. Mm-hmm. Imagine no electricity. That is when shit gets real. It stops getting polite and it starts getting real in California. And but I think the alternative, anything that they could say if they're having like a press conference or something, anything they could say is the alternative is your house gets burned down because we have no water. So what would you guys like? What would you guys like us to do? Rational people don't think like that. So you got to throw that out the window. I'm tired of hearing that excuse. Um, what I'm saying is it is Wednesday right now when we're recording this show. 
my prediction on all of this, if this goes down for five to seven days, like they said, mm-hmm. Friday night, Friday night is when it starts. People start boozing. There will be some stuff. The other people that get off work who have had power and then maybe lost power start boozing. You start getting some drugs in you. Friday night is when shit really kicks off. And then you're probably starting at convenience stores and then you're working your way down to, to whatever else is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you heard it here first. That is, my, that is a, a, a weird prediction but when i read this story this morning is it was trending number one on twitter and i was like oh shit that was my first thought was it's fucking purge time it's fucking purge time is that what happens when there's a hurricane and the power's out yeah i mean look you do you do start to to lose your mind and uh there but are, are there riots and stuff looting is really bad so like if you remember katrina and all that shit i mean people were shooting each other um I mean, it got fucking wild down there. Katrina who, you know, was gnarly. I know. Uh, and who was in the middle of that? Sean Penn. Oh. His little, remember his little dinghy? He was out there trying to save people in the dinghy. Toca la guitarra. And I you thought could that hear was, gunshots going off. It was Sean Penn or Brad Pitt? Yeah. Uh, Sean Penn. Hmm. Um, you could hear gunshots Brad going Pete. off, and he was like, hey, you, you, I'm sure you can hear the gunshots behind me. It's crazy, and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Shit got wild. Um, but again, no electricity, no... And and then things are flooded. Like that's what it is. So, okay. Birds time, Jabes. Don't forget about me. Um, again, we have a PO box. PO box the thirty seven ninety three. Yeah, yeah, Wilmington, yeah, 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 North yeah, Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two eight four zero six. That's where I want my gold chain sent to. So, um, my gold chain. My gold chains. Two different links. Right, because mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna double it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two different. Two different links because we want the top. To links. Be able to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you would have told me there was going to be a riot in California this weekend, I would have said it was over something different. Um, Trump, dude, just came out uh, last night and said, you know what? I'm not doing this impeachment thing. I'm not going to do it. Is that how it works? No. Yeah. And, uh, well, yeah. no, here's the thing they don't know what to do to stop it. When they're like, hey, man, you got to turn over all your shit. And he goes, no. Executive privilege. That's going to last for. I, it's never little. happened before. So I don't know. Um, I don't I don't really know it, when he said it because he came out and said it. He goes, no, we're not doing that. I'm not going to I'm not going to cooperate. I'm not going to do any of this shit. Um, so, I'm not going to so cooperate. Luck. He says, um, and I'm going to read this word for word if I can. And uh, I'm not saying it's right or wrong because. I've never heard of it. Uh, so he said, you can take your probe and shove it. Um, and I'm not going to hand over anything. I'm not going to do this stupid shit because you guys are literally trying to do everything you can to overturn the results of the 2016 election. And so what this sets the stage for is because is a, is a, there is something in the Constitution, Right where you can argue over certain things of what executive privilege is and power and what you do and don't have to turn over. But if one person thinks they're right, in this case, the president thinks he's right of like, Hey man, this is a witch hunt and this is bullshit and I'm tired of it and you have nothing on me and you're just going to impeach to impeach. I'm not going to cooperate. You could send lawyers in there for months to argue against the constitution and a Supreme court to see what he does have to do and doesn't have to do. So like this morning, Democrats had no answer as of yet. They're going to meet about it and be like, all right, well, what do we do now? Mm -hmm. Because what what, nobody's ever said, no, I'm just not going to do that. Yeah. I don't think you can say that. Well, he did. And so that, that's, that's what's going on now. And then here's what it triggered. Um, Because this, this gets even crazier. Uh, Hillary Clinton is out doing uh, a live television event as this was going down. Mm. And so what do you think about this? And, and uh, how would you handle it? Whatever. And she was like, don't tempt me to run again. And she heard, this is her exact quote. I can beat I him. can't see that little football lose again. Here, here she goes. Can't. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Here, was her, here was her quote. This is her exact quote. I can beat him again. Beat him again? Yes. Saying that she beat. She got him in the popular vote. 
and not the Electoral College. Uh, wh- with everything that's going on, right, this week with uh, Biden mm-hmm. and uh, Bernie, mm-hmm. so Bernie said, hey, man, I've been going. He, he released a statement last night and said, look, I'm going to ease up on these events and my thing. I should have seen the warning signs and everything that I was going through before. He, he did, by the way, he did come out and say it was an actual heart attack, which oh. I thought was a, bold. A, a, yeah, absolutely. Because that just sets you up to get crushed by everybody. Right. Um, so by him saying that, Biden going through what he's going through, because you know somebody's going to dig into the sun and him. Yeah. And why your kid's making $50,000 a month mm-hmm. for working for a Ukraine gas firm for five years like uh right but that wouldn't wouldn't that be part of the investigation but yeah go ahead no because he's not he's not part of the impeachment Mm. but it'll cause them to look into that Mm -hmm. elizabeth warren again she's fighting for press right now with everything that's going on with all of this crazy shit uh wouldn't it be wild she just snuck in there at the end, Hillary, and just said, well, looks like I'm the best one again. We should probably, we should probably third time's a charm, right? Oh, that would be great, just to see. Is there any possibility this would happen? It's the only reason I wanted Marianne Williamson to be it. I know. on there is for the show, because I think ultimately whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But They caught her on a hot mic the other day. Be- it doesn't matter. Really funny. It doesn't matter anymore, but what was it? Uh, she goes, uh, she thought the mic was killed in this mm. event she was at. And she goes, my God, the Democrats are godless. <laughs> and you can hear well, it in that tone. That's her new position, though, right? So that's not any, that's like a planted, a planted hot mic, if you will. Do you know what Man. I mean? She's saying that out loud, so that's not anything. Yes, She's saying this, they're being so mean. They're more mean than the conservatives. Uh, so she was on PBS when this happened last night. And um, so this wasn't like, hey, we caught her. At, Hillary. At, yeah. yeah. It, it's not like, hey, we caught her at, uh, you know, a Macy's coming out of a Macy's or something. And it was a throwaway comment to TMZ. Mm-hmm. This was on PBS. And she said, maybe there does need to be a rematch. I mean, obviously, I can beat him again. That was her exact quote. I mean, this lady. Is if anyone crazy? has a bigger ego than Trump, I think she must be the only one. And with all the Epstein shit. She must be the only one. Man. Um, <laughs> wild times, James. No. It might be. It might be interesting to see, to be like, I mean. Could you imagine? Oh, but look at all the ammo that she would have. Like Him too with the, the Epstein shit. Him too, but... She will be able to be like, you saw what it was like. Now let's do, you know what I mean? It could, the, she has built in everything that she needs to say. You tried it out. Now let's go back and make the right decision. Do is, you know what I mean? Is it crazy, oh, Jabes? That would be great. Is it crazy that I'm, I'm not going to actually rule this out? No, I, I mean, it, I, you can't really rule anything out at, at this point. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and say, no, that can't happen. I mean, every day it feels like the unimaginable is happening. I'm, not, I'm absolutely not going to run that rule it out. I mean, we're there's still 13 months left to go. In and all she of this. she is strategically placing herself on certain show, not placing herself, but they're placing her strategically. Seems kind like of, it, right? Yeah. Um, she was on this other show where somebody asked her what the hardest like one of the hardest decisions that she's had to make or whatever. And she was like, well, the decision to stay in my marriage. And her daughter was sitting right there like, oh, she was like, oh, wow. 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 I think that she, you know, clearly she's taken the notes of you're not relatable. (laughs) Nobody feels like you tell the truth about anything. You don't open up ever. Right. Yeah. So she's maybe taking those notes and she's kind of feeling things out. Definitely. So Trump's tweet Definitely. Uh, right now uh, says, I think that crooked Hillary Clinton should enter the race to try and steal it away from Uber left Elizabeth Warren. That could be. There you go. There you go. Oh, man. And then the next one just says only on one condition. The crooked one must explain all of her high crimes and misdemeanors, including how and why 
she deleted 33,000 emails after getting subpoenaed. Now, look, would she be an <laughs> idiot to do it? Yeah. But again, the only bigger ego I know than Trump is her. Right, right now, uh, she just responded back. Don't tempt me. Do your job. <laughs> She's oh, on Twitter. She learned how to use Twitter. Huh? Wow. She learned how to use wow. a phone. Good for her. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I mean, look, this was a this was an hour interview on PBS. Why she didn't have a book out, right? Mm-mm. Well, so why is she why is she there? There could be a lot of truth to what you're saying of like, hey, why is she at these places at these times? The ex- at these exact times doing these She's interviews. She's dipping her toe. She's Ooh. dipping her toe. She's taking the temperature. She tweeted at Lizzo. I knew she knew how to use Twitter. What did she say to Lizzo? I just took a DNA test, and it turns out. I'm 100% that bitch? All she wrote was, I just took a DNA test, and it turns out. Oh, my dot, God. Dot, dot, dot. And I was like, what? That's really funny. I'm I mean, sure like, it look, wasn't her, right? If you're her, what do you have to lose at this point? <laughs> you know? Fuck. So what? You, lo- you lose a third time. You kept doing it. Who gives a shit? Uh, Bill. Whatever. Your husband's going to die. Yeah, he's, and then, and, and then all the Epstein shit. At this point, what does it really matter? But you know who would be the, the who I would feel the worst for in this one? Because huh. I felt bad for Bernie in the last one. Oh my God, stole what if one. Bernie got? No, I, not Bernie this time, Biden. Because Biden was supposed to be the one to run in 2012. And they all got together. Oh, when they p- propped her. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, 2016. Um, and they all got together and they said. And propped her up. Yes. Yeah. And it was him, Barack, and her. And they had some f- form of meeting. And they said, we're, we're throwing our support behind you. And Biden got boned in that sitch. But, uh, man, what a time to be alive. And, again, um, if you've got those gold chains out there. During the purge this weekend, let me know. Let me know. Look, I hope it's not as bad as it is, but if it is, obviously. Uh, We also need a new microwave for our office. Uh, That would be great. Just a nice microwave. A kegerator. A kegerator we need and a stainless steel uh, microwave would be great. So if you are out there in the riot and you happen to come across a nice microwave that is stainless steel, obviously... Let's not go with the plastic white one that is stock standard that sits on your counter. And I don't want that red. No. People Can't love have to red. get the red microwave. Can't get have, it out of my face. Can't have that one. Um, yeah, go ahead and grab that and send that in. What if, we, what if it does go down? We just end up with like, you show up to the P.O. box and they're just like, hey, man, we get some packages for you. Well, what do you got? 58 microwaves. No. It appears to be 58 we don't microwaves. Need a microwave. We can get a microwave. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing okay. Yes, we can't. We we look. We can get a microwave. We can't afford gold chains, but but we can get a microwave. Well, well, James. Here's the thing. For the it's for the office, obviously, because um, we're in the new studio. If you happen to come across it, I'm not saying go directly for it, but if it's you know you see a bunch of microwaves laying around, if there is a window that's already broken, and the microwave's just sitting there. Maybe. Yeah. Don't break any windows to get it yourself. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, let's let's uh, let's get to the revolution figure of the day, shall we, James? We shall. This is it's so much news coming in so fast. Um, it's really mind altering. Where you're just like, what the fuck is going on? What a time to be alive. Maybe your show should James. be called Breaking News. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, this is good. It's Benjamin Franklin. He's the one that discovered and, uh, and, and invented electricity, essentially. Now, Thomas Edison uh, was the first one to uh, establish an electric utility company in 1882. So what are we basing? The, the Benjamin Franklin is off that kite? Yep. The, the kite key. and the key, Jabes. Mm-hmm. The kites and the key. Must be true. So what's going on today? That is different from then? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Everybody's still worried about getting burned up by uh, electricity 
and everyone's going to die. So Ben Franklin, know that you tying that, that, that key to that string, flying that kite up in the air. He was probably nervous. He was going to get burned up after the lightning hit it. He was a poon hound. You know that? Yeah. Famous poon hound. Infamous poon hound. Um, that's what happens, dude. Dude, if you fucking find out about electricity, get puss, dude. That's just the, that's fact. That is fact. If you, I think the electricity is a pretty big deal. I think the real message is if you fly kites, mm-hmm. you get poon. Well, you got to find electricity too, but yeah. I mean, essentially I, he was just flying a kite though, you know? But with a key tied to it, like he was trying to find out about electricity. So right. that's, like, you got to give him more than that. Like I don't, I don't see a bunch of people flying kites on the beach that are getting laid all the time. This guy, though, f- figured out electricity. You don't know what you're going to find out by flying a kite. You know what I mean? It could be any number of things. You don't, man. I, look, and I liken this to probably Eli Whitney and the cotton gin. I mean, I'm sure it was just f- trim all over him. It was like he was shaving sheep. There was so much trim all over him after Eli Whitney. I thought he the cotton gin. invented peanut butter. Nope. Uh, that is Washington. Eli Washington? Nope. Different Washington altogether. Washington what? Carver. That invented peanut butter? George Washington Carver, right? Come on, James. Do I have to give two revolutionary figures away this week? No, We've no, never done on. it. We've never done it. Um, M- uh, Marcellus yeah. Gilmore Edson. Kind of. Okay. Um, okay. But uh, George Washington Carver uh, invented the peanuts. So that's where we're at, Jabes. George Wa- is known for his work with peanuts, yeah. though he did not invent peanut butter. Yeah, but I look. He grew them. Yes. But uh, this, uh, this Edson, Marcellus Edson. You got to run. Invented peanut butter. You got to run before you can fly. You need product, you know. Correct. So it's it's very similar to the the Ben Frank sitch, right? The B Frank sitch. Mm-hmm. He finds the electricity. Edison opens up the the utility company for electricity. Boom. Carver invents the peanut, and then someone else is making it. You know, chopping it up and putting putting butter in it into it. So. It's very similar, Jesse. Right. And that's, that's the world. Okay. Science is what it is. I'm sorry that I had to give everyone a lesson at home today. If you have children, just have them listen to the last five minutes of this. They do not need school anymore. This was a history lesson for the ages. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is, well, this is me teaching you today. This is no longer a revolution. This is me teaching you And enjoy The Purge if you're out there. Good night, everyone. Good night.